We all know that tenkara is a specific form of Japanese fishing, but there are other forms of Japanese fishing. One of them is called keiru, or keiryu, I'm not sure how it's pronounced, I don't speak Japanese. But it is, it's similar to tenkara in that you have a long rod and there's no reel, but the difference is that you're using live bait most of the time. And also I believe they often use split shot, a uh, small split shot on the line to get the bait down. What I have here leaning up against the car all ready to fish is a Keiru rod. This is the Ansel by Keiru Rod Company. The guy who runs Keiru Rod Company sent this rod to me for free to fish with and to presumably make videos about. And the thing about this rod is that it can be fished as a Tenkara rod, so with a regular Tenkara line and a fly. Uh, although I think this one can actually be used both ways. It can be fished as a Keiru rod or a Tenkara rod, and so that's kind of interesting. Keiru rods tend to be a little bit more stiff, so I'm expecting... My rod just fell over here in the wind. I'm expecting the rod to be a little bit stiff, but let's see how it goes. All right, let's pack up here. So you might have seen the river back here in the background. I've not fished this before. But based on other things that I've fished in the, I'm already caught. Based on other things that I've fished in this area, uh, I'm guessing it has brook trout and maybe some cutthroat in it. It's always a little bit undignified to get caught on something before you even start fishing. The line on here is about, I would say about nine and a half feet long on this 11 foot rod. Uh, I believe this line was sent to me with this rod. I don't know if I said it or not, but this rod is called the Ansel by Keiru Rod Company. It says 10.9 feet, CCS 31, fast action. I believe that is the common sense scale, 31. I'll put a link to that down below if you want to learn more about that, but it's like a nine and a half foot long floating line with a little bit of a different colored sighter at the, for the bottom foot or so. I think this line was sent to me with this rod. Uh, the problem with having a lot of gear is that sometimes you kind of lose track of it all. You lose track of where it came from. It's a good problem to have, but I think this line was sent to me with this rod. And then the fly on here is a black and brown uh, soft tackle. I'll put a picture of it here. You know, it's fun to fish deep in the backcountry, but it's also fun to fish right on the road, right next to the road. The line feels a little bit short to me. I might want to put a longer line on. Uh, the rod does feel stiff, but it's kind of to be expected with this kind of rod. I'm not sure I would get this rod if, you know, Tenkara were my primary interest. But if you want to test out a rod that can be used for, for both styles, in both styles, then maybe something like this might interest you. And let me know if you want to see me actually fish this or a rod like this with, you know, with the, the live bait. With, and with, oh, here we go. Fish on. Let's see. Oh, it's a cutthroat. It's a little cutthroat. Oh, there we go. See ya, buddy. Yeah, I'm not sure which subspecies of cutthroat is in here, but I will... Uh, I'll let you know on the screen here. Well, that was fast. So like I was saying, this line does feel a little bit short to me with this rod. But I'll fish it for a little bit longer. And then I'll probably try it with a level line. Bridges are usually a pretty good spot to fish under bridges. They provide constant shade and shelter. You know, no eagle flying overhead is gonna spot you. Is this a fish? Oh, it is. No eagle is gonna spot you if you're under a bridge. This is a much better size. Wow. 10 or 11 incher. Wow, that's a good cutthroat. Wow. Look at that beauty. See ya, buddy. Beautiful fish, that's awesome. At first, I didn't think it was a fish. I thought I was stuck on a rock, but then I felt the vibrations. I felt it moving. 
Super cool. All right, let's keep fishing under the bridge here. See if we can get anything else. So that one was from the right side. Like the far right side of the pool here. You can't really see the line. Even with that cider material, it's hard for me to see. Let's fish off to the left and the middle a little bit more. Oh, there we go. We got another one. It's a big one. I haven't seen it yet, but it, it's fighting. I think it's probably similar in size to the last one. Oh, came off. Man, let's see, fly, fly is still on there. That was cool. What a cool river. Roadside, fishing for good sized native trout. I mean, come on, doesn't get much better than this. With a new rod? Yes, please. Again, I set the hook on that one and it just stopped. But then I felt the vibration. Same as that last one. All right, I think that's about it for under the bridge here. Let's keep going upstream. Fish on, good size, another good size. It's fighting. It's fighting. Yes! Wow, guys. These are gorgeous fish in here. These are amazing fish in here. Let's carefully lay the rod down. Look at that. Freaking gorgeous fish. See ya, buddy. This stream is a gem. Oh, I was just kind of half-heartedly fishing this, but there's a fish in there. I, I just got it again. There we go. Oh, well, it's gone now. Uh, so this, like I said, this line has a, has, a, has a cider material on it. I don't know if you can see this, but the bottom foot of this line goes from fluorescent green to kind of fluorescent pink and then back to green which is fine but I find that it's actually harder to see than the rest of the line because it's thinner the main line is pretty thick so it's easy to see I'm having a harder time seeing this thinner stuff so again not how I would prefer to fish with this but we'll fish with it like this for a little bit longer fish on good average size in this stream that's what I'm learning another gorgeous yellow cutthroat see oops, see ya buddy yeah let me know if you guys want to see me fish this or some other Keru rod as an actual Keru rod I think I would like to try that Oh, fish on. Line is tangled. Oh, and it's untangled. Fish on. You guessed it. It's another cutthroat. See you, buddy. Also, that neon pink color sort of blends in with like the brownish, purplish, orange, the warm color of this stream and the rocks here. So not a fan of that purple. Man, every spot. Fish came off. There are a lot of fish in here. Fish on. I think this is the smallest one yet. 
I don't know, that first one was pretty small too, but this one's right up there. This is a good looking pool right here. Got one. Yes. I don't know if you can see that pink in there. Really pretty though. See ya, buddy. Got one. It's a mid-sized cutthroat. See ya, buddy. Fish on. I saw that line twitch, that green line. See you, buddy. That was right here, but to the left looks even better. Really nice, long, calm spot. Yep. Oh, came off. Let's try the uppermost section of that pool. Yep. See ya, buddy. Very feisty fish in here. Yeah, fishing with a line this short, like the, as I'm pulling the fish in, it's out of the water much more. With a little bit of a longer line, you can keep the fish in the water easier as you pull it toward you. I'm finding myself kind of naturally choking up on the rod to make it a little bit shorter, to make it and the line a little bit closer in length. Oh, fish on. I had the line in the water. And I was moving upstream. That one has a sore on it. You know that when you're accidentally catching fish, it's a good stream. I think I'm gonna switch lines now. I'm gonna switch to an 11 foot level line, BRB. All right, 11 foot line on here now with an Idaho Killer Kabari on it. Definitely feels easier for me to cast, feels more comfortable. Could be just because I'm more used to level lines, but that extra length does seem to make it, make it easier, does seem to make a difference. Fish on. Nice one. First one on the new line and the new fly. Got him. Man, pretty fish. Very nice. These look like Yellowstone cutthroat to me. They're very yellow. They're not, but that's what they look like. Fish on. Got him. See you, buddy. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. There we go. And he's off. Got him. Oh. Fish 
this on. And uh, dang it. Yeah, I think this rod is much better with this line on it. Could be personal preference, but I mean, I prefer this, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna say so. All right, guys, so the fishing seemed to get worse and worse as I went upstream, so I've doubled back. I'm now below the bridge. I'm gonna fish upstream from here and see how it goes. Fish on in the first couple minutes. Oh, come on. There we go. That's actually about the first minute of fishing this lower section. Cutthroat. Very, very nice. Oh! Didn't realize I had a fish on. I'm an idiot. Again, I was just kind of walking upstream with with my line in the water, with my fly in the water, and I, by no skill of my own, managed to catch another one. Fish on. Well. There are more fish, they're smaller, but that's okay. I'd rather catch a lot of small fish than the occasional larger fish. Fish on, it's a decent one. And it came off. I'm sorry guys, I know the camera is facing right into the sun. That's just how it has to be sometimes. I'm getting close to the bridge now. I can see it ahead of me. I'd like to catch one more before getting out of here. And this looks like a promising spot, but no bites yet. I guess to sum up my experiences with this rod, I definitely prefer this level line, this length of level line, this 11 foot line on it fish is way better to me and the longer I've fished with this rod like the more I fish with it the more I like it it's not an amazing tinkara rod okay it's not a great tinkara rod but I'm having fun uh, it is stiff it's more stiff than the tinkara rods I'm used to fishing if you want to buy a tinkara rod there are a lot of better there we go there are much oh gosh there are much better rods out there. But if you want to get one that can fish, you know, with a level line as a Tenkara rod and also fish as a Keru rod, got some moss on here, then this rod is worth considering, I think. Yeah, this rod is stiff, but it's not necessarily heavy feeling. A lot of rods that aren't very good They'll feel stiff and heavy. This one doesn't feel heavy as much as, as it just feels stiff, if that makes sense. And again, if you're fishing with bait, if you're fishing with split shot, you're probably gonna want a stiffer rod like this. And now we've come full circle back at the bridge. I don't think I caught anything below the bridge, but I'll fish below it. But I think we are going to catch one more fish today under the bridge is where it's going to happen. It's not looking good, guys. Oh, fish on! This will be my last chance, guys. Yes! Okay. I didn't catch anything under the bridge. I thought, let me fish just a little bit further. I have to go over here to get back to my car anyway. 
finally landed another beauty. This actually might be the biggest one yet. Really pretty fish. Gorgeous fish. Whew. All right, guys, I fished this stream for about an hour and a half. Cut 18 fish, all native cutthroat trout. I've given you my thoughts on this rod, but I'm interested in hearing what you think. Are you interested in buying this rod? Does this appeal to you? What are your thoughts and impressions? Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Be sure to subscribe to the channel here if you haven't already, and don't forget to check out my flytyingyarn.com store if you're looking for yarn for your fly tying needs. And then finally, I have another YouTube channel called SUV RVing that covers all of my non-fishing adventures. If you wanna check that out, links to all of those things and more will be in the video description.